Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 19th. Today I'm going to do two. I'm going to be do two daily vibes. First, we're going to do one for him. Then we're going to do one for her. So this first one is going to be um, focusing more on for males. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. Generally, I focus on love, so that's what we're going to focus on. And this reading is not a private reading. It does not have your name on it. So it may be for you. It may not be for you. It is what it is. I'm no longer accepting private readings. So anybody that sends me a request will not be replied to because I'm now booked up until December 18th. I am fully booked and I'm not accepting any more requests until January 22nd. Now remember, I said this is going to focus on the males. Woo! Oh boy. Oh my gosh, look on the bottom. We have the hanged man. So we have a man that is stuck in his thoughts. He's not making the moves that he needs to make. Wasting time. Doesn't know what to do. Confused, perhaps. Going through an enlightenment, but going through that enlightenment the hard way. Resisting change. That the hangman is a man who is resisting change. Represented by the card of Pisces. But in this instance, it could be any man, because this is the reading for the, for the, for the man. Now this man is needing to see things from a new perspective. But kind of refusing to do so. Not wanting to deal with the struggle of change. I mean, that's what this card means. This is the master of non-attachment. And I can see that we are afraid of a commitment right here. Very afraid of commitment with the Hierophant. Reversed. Commitment is an issue. Especially for the hanged man. Master of non-attachment. Not offering any solid offers. I mean, the Knight of Coins is not making any moves because he's in denial. I mean, that's a card of denial. Therefore, he is staying exactly stuck. So we have this male here that is so stuck in his ways. Not finding the courage. The Knight of Swords is the, is the Knight of Courage. This man is not, doesn't have, and look at, we have, didn't we have strength reversed? We do. A lack of forward movement. And the, the chariot card is a card of strength. It really is. 
the strength to master your emotions, to move in the direction of your heart's desire. This man is lacking courage and strength in the ability to master his emotions, to bring happiness to his life because he's afraid of commitment, long-term commitment. lacks courage. I'm sorry, you guys. I really, really am. But <laughs> the very last card is the tower. You can only pretend for so long. You can only pretend that you're happy for so long. You can only stall for so long. The universe sees what's going on. This is a universe card. The universe sees the weakness they see your weakness. They, they see your weakness. They see your lack of confidence, your lack of courage. And they're going to cause a rude awakening or they may be bringing you in a rude awakening at this time. Because you absolutely need to take charge. You need to make a decision. You need to stop hanging around, going back and forth and playing games with your own mind. You need to take that mask off. You need to unblock your heart. You need to open up. You need to stop stalling. Stop pretending. Stop ignoring the truth. That very first card is somebody that is ignoring the truth, pretending. That's what the card is. Stalling. You have to make a painful choice at this time. This is a painful choice. To take the blindfold off. Stop blocking the truth that you know is within the side of you. That is what this card is. You know the truth, but you're blocking the truth. Trying to keep things under control. Thinking that this is the most logical thing to do. You know, you're choosing your, you're choosing logic based on everything but love. Okay, the King of Swords here. It's like you're not choosing the path to love. There's no love in these cards. None, none. And that is a rude awakening. That's a rude awakening. There's no love here. Somebody is needing a transformation now. I'm sorry, I, ha I have to uh, clear my throat for a second. <coughs> we have two cards, or actually we have three cards of transformation in this deck, but the two main cards for transformation are right here. They're right together, and they're both reversed. We have more than three. There's so many cards that can signify transformation. But I refuse to change. Seriously. Holding on to what you once knew. Brings unhappiness. There's no growth. There's no rebirth. You know, there's, 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 a, oh my God, it's ridiculous. Somebody's not listening to their inner guide with the hair font, not listening, pushing down their thoughts, pushing down their true feelings, thinking, oh, this is the logical thing to do. This is the right thing to do. It is. You want to grow old alone? You want to, you want to pretend that you're happy wherever you're at? Because that's what somebody's absolutely positively doing. Because they don't have to commit. Wherever they're at, wh whatever they're doing, they're, they don't have to commit. All right? There's no commitment there. There isn't. Living some sort of false life. Unhappy, unhappy life. Because they do not, there's so much lack of courage here. We have somebody here that's a coward. I mean, I can't. If you're looking for 
<laughs> Fluff, you need to go watch somebody else because you are not going to get it here. Somebody needs to master their emotions and they are not doing so. Swallow that pride. To bring victory and success to your life. This is victory and success. It is reversed. You have to put yourself in the driver's seat and find the mental strength to move in a new direction. You have to do that. But if you continue to stay where you're at and pretend that you are happy, you are going to get a rude awakening when you least expect it. Because that's what the tower brings in. They bring you some sort of change, epiphany, upheaval, shock. that will force you to find your courage. Is that what you're looking for? You're looking for this to happen. You're looking for an unexpected turn, a turn of events when you could take this in your own hands. Now, the tower it will bring things into your life when you least expect it, okay? When you least expect it. And it's gonna it's going to really force you to find your strength. To stop wasting your time wherever you're wasting it. Somebody's living a lie. And this the tower is a universe card. It's a sixteen, it converts to a seven. I mean it, somebody is living a lie. The universe sees it, and they're about to get a wake-up call. Now, what about the woman in this dynamic? Somebody is lying to themselves about a woman, not moving forward, cowardly, um, lack of courage, lack of strength, definitely lack of courage and strength here, lack of courage. Lack of courage and strength. Lack of courage and strength. I mean, I can't pretend even though you can. It's like this man, the man, you, are demanding you're in charge, you know. You, I'm in control. See, he's got the sword. It's like... I demand to be in control. You demand to be in control. Fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Go ahead. But you aren't going to find happiness. You're not going to get victory and success. Holding on to your old ways. Refusing to learn anything new. I know it all. This is a know it all. Refusing to learn. This is a teacher. It's reverse. I don't need to know anything. I already know it all. And just so y'all know, I love men. Anybody that knows me knows that. So don't think that I am against men. Absolutely not.
But I do not wear a mask. Somebody is holding on to their stance and they're not getting any love wherever they're at because there is not an ounce of love in these cards. Nowhere. It's all pretend. It's all fake. And that is <laughs> very, very... sad. It is sad. This is sadness. <sighs> so this man has to make a decision to communicate. This is the sword of communication. But it's going to take courage to communicate. Lack of courage. But the fear of commitment is huge. Huge. Oh, geez, some crow. The five of swords reversed. It takes courage to step out of your ego and swallow your pride. <laughs> oh, God. To, to come out of... Your, you know, you took a break, right? I had to take a break. I had to do this. I had to do that. You know, it takes courage to go back or to head in the direction towards a new commitment. It takes courage. This, the five of swords reverse is letting go of your ego. I just want happiness now. It's not about... You know, trying to prove myself with the Five of Swords reverse at this time, I you have to make the decision, are you happy or not? I mean, somebody is pretending to the highest degree. Complete denial. I mean, on the outside, to the outside world, it looks great. But on the inside, they're dying. Because they know it's not emotional fulfillment. Hanging on to a dead-end situation because I don't have the courage to commit to real love. Change of course. That universe or the tower is bringing a change of course. They are bringing you the opportunity to come together with somebody. But you're going to have to make some compromises. You have an opportunity at this time to bring balance and harmony back to your life. You can bring it back alive. You can bring something back alive if you decide to swallow your pride. And take action. Because the Wheel of Fortune is a card of destiny and free will. Next to the Tower, we have a destined change, of course. Somebody's going to get a rude awakening that asks them or pushes them to find strength and courage to change this direction. Big change. To transform, to transition from this spot you've been in. This is a card of transition. Somebody has been trying to escape the reality. No doubt. Somebody has been trying to escape commitment. And there's an opportunity to change your life at this time with the Wheel of Fortune. But free will plays a part. So the universe or the tower is 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 here. This is this is a faded event and this is a faded event. The tower is here to change your life. You are going to get some sort of rude awakening that is going to open the door to change. 
now that you have this insight, what are you going to do? You're going to stay where you're at? You're going to keep living a lie? Because that's what the very first card is. Or are you going to make a decision to find your strength and courage to find happiness, true happiness? Because you are about to be presented with an opportunity for a new beginning, a new chapter, new life. But the power is in your hands. You can let ego and pride get in the way or you can decide that happiness matters more. That's the meaning of this card. <laughs> so, let's get you an oracle card. An oracle card. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Well, let's go with this one. So we have a man here that's in denial, trying to block the truth, pretending that everything is good, <laughs> pretending he is happy, pretending he is happy and his pride and his ego is in the way, and he's afraid of commitment, he's stuck, he does. Re he's resisting a change when a change is needing, needed, we, a transformation is has been presented to him, and he's refusing to transition, refusing to transform at this time. But it looks like the universe is bringing in some sort of fated change of course where they are going to be offered an opportunity to head down a new path. This, this rude awakening may hurt when it comes in because you're going to need some strength to deal with it. Something is going to happen that is going to test this man's strength and um, whether you know he wants to... Uh, let go of the dead end situation he's in and evolve into something better or whether he wants to stay stuck where he's at. I mean, wherever he's at, it's a lie. I mean, the very it, it's a lie. It is a lie. I can't pretend that it is. And this man has been going downhill because of it. I mean, he's been going absolutely downhill because there's a lot of uh, Sadness here. There's sadness. There's lack of growth. There's a dead end situation that he has hung on to. And the universe is going to give, give him an awakening that gives him an opportunity to start a, a new chapter. And bring good luck into his life to bring something better, to change it all. The universe is going to bring something in to change it, to change the course. Now, free will does play a part how you handle it. There's just so much lack of mastering of emotions here because of pride and ego. Pride and ego are huge. They are. And fear of, of commitment. True commitment. You can say I want commitment until you're blue in your face. Actions speak louder than words. We have a major life change here that is upon you. And this man hasn't been a taking any action at all with the Knight of Coins reversed and the Knight of, of Swords reversed. It's like he is in the chariot reversed. It's like he in the hangman stuck. Completely stuck. And you know what's keeping him stuck? Pride. But this is a card of evolving, compromising. Transition into something better if you stop holding on to that pride and that ego. I'm sorry, it is what I'm not going to pretend that this is something different.
This man is not happy where he's at, period, with the sun, with the sun card reversed. Not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. You aren't going to find your happiness until you take the lead and put yourself in the driver's seat. You have to master your emotions. You won't, will not find that happiness until you do that. You have to take control. Somebody is hanging on to something that is a dead-end situation. It is. And it's getting old and it's causing more and more unhappiness as time goes on. When there's an opportunity for something really, really good and the universe sees that. But you're going to have to find strength to head in that direction. But we have a very weak man here. Weak, weak, weak. And I'm sorry. I am. Oh my God. Oh my God. Open your heart to joy. The key words open your heart. Open your heart. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If you follow your heart. Still, I laid out more cards. No love. No freaking love in these cards. We have a man that's living a lie. And that is extremely sad. The universe sees it. They're going to push you. To the limit. Get prepared. Joy and delight. You do not need to suffer to grow. You can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. Do what gives you joy. Do what gives you joy. Do what gives you joy. Celebrate and have fun. Stop and embrace life, yourself and others. Say yes. Take steps today, today to expand your joy. Your purpose in life is to experience joy. <laughs> no shit. Allow joy and ecstasy to flow through you wildly and freely. Share your love. Happiness spreads to others like wildfire and can help heal the world. The sacred traveler knows that it's not just about reaching the destinations. It's about the joy of the journey. Why are you wasting your time in a dead-end situation that's a lie? That's sad. You could die tomorrow. Or the person that you love could. The traveler stops periodically to savor the simple pleasures of the voyage. If you don't follow your bliss now, when will you? <laughs> oh, come on now. I can't make this shit up. You know I can't. If you've been waiting until circumstances are different before you experience true happiness, you may have a long wait. What the hell are you waiting for? It's too late. It's simple. When you focus on the areas of your life that bring you joy, these areas will prosper. One of the fastest paths to happiness is through sharing and giving. So give your heart and follow your bliss. Joy is your spiritual birthright. Oh my goodness gracious. Stop stalling. Find your courage and your strength. Follow your heart. It's not about proving yourself. It's about love. And you're missing out. And that sucks. <laughs>